One of the challenges we all have is to stay current, to stay at the edge. Your editors, your art directors, and you're our canaries in the coal mine. And so we decided to dedicate these galleries to a running show of what artists are doing today in their studios. When this building was built, art was a part of the whole scheme of the building. You know, from the beginning we knew that it would be great to be able to do special things and get the public in. Being around great art, like being around great architecture, which this building is, can't but inspire people. It was important for us to have these galleries to keep our antenna up and with it as to what's going on at the leading edge. And I see this show, The Art of Now, as being nothing more than an extension of the original intention. This is not intended to be a gallery show. It is an ongoing sampling of working artists and what they are doing and what they're thinking about. One of the main things that I think we were concerned about was diversity. And diversity in terms of medium, subject matter, nationality, ethnicity, sexual orientation. We wanted a show that encapsulated all that is going on now in the art world. So what you're looking at here when you look at this diverse group of artists, there's figurative painting, there's plexiglass sculpture, there's sound pieces, there's all kinds of new media. One reason you look at art is to think about things you haven't thought about before, to let the artists maybe ask you some questions that make you uncomfortable. It's a fantastic thing for a company like this to make a commitment to bringing in art of living, working artists and letting all of Hearst employees, but also people who come through the building, have a chance to look at it in one place. I think virtually everything I saw was kind of a challenge, which is why I walk over to the MoMA or walk into the Whitney or something. You kind of want to be challenged. You want to see things in a, from a different perspective. Adam Katzoff, who did this study in like black, where stuff just keeps emerging out of the picture the longer you look at it. It's kind of thrilling. I'm Will Kurtz. I make sculptures of people that I see in Brooklyn. I kind of pretend like I'm talking on my cell phone and I just see somebody that captures my eye and I, I take their photo. It's kind of in a, in a candid way. And then I make these life-size sculptures of them. The title of my piece is Cosmic Nostalgia. It's basically a fusion of organic painting techniques with a super premeditated mark making. My name is London Tsai. I um, make sculptures out of aluminum and I use neon lights. The piece that's in the Hearst Galleries, it's my conception of the universe, the Big Bang at the bottom and then the Big Crunch at the top. And what's in the middle is basically our existence. Noel Anderson's Grammatological. The more I looked at it, the more I was engaged in a conversation with the artist. Like, are you insulting me? Are you trying to make me feel better about myself? There's especially a couple things on the other side that are amazing. The, uh, the long exposure photographs. Matthew Pillsbury, those were awesome. One of which is at the Museum of Natural History. Just kind of challenge your perception. Well, it's, it's, it's particularly wonderful for me because I was commissioned to photograph this building 10 years ago when it was nearing completion. And so I spent a couple of days in the building when it was still filled with crates. And I photographed on the scaffolding on the top floors. And so coming back and seeing the building fully occupied and having been so successful over the past 10 years is, is really nice. And to see these galleries thriving and having my work featured in them is particularly rewarding and alongside many other great artists. It's art that most people don't get to see. It's so wonderful to see them in this space. There's something about this extraordinary building. I mean, this place is just, uh, I had no idea. You know, you see it from the outside, and you go up this escalator with water on both sides, and you get up here, and there's these giant columns, and, and then to see your work in this space is really quite magnificent. I was always looking at this building when I was trying to figure out what my process was, what it was going to be, and conceptually, it's the most diverse show I've seen in a long time, and it's here. But it's nice to do something like this to kind of revive the interest and bring people from the outside to once again see this fabulous place. Well, you know, Hearst has been a participant in the culture since the time of William Randolph Hearst. All across America, Hearst executives are engaged in the national conversation of the arts. We're a company that depends on creativity, 
and to reach out to the creative community and bring them into the building I, I think is fabulous. The art of now is kind of a nice philosophy for all of us to have. That's really what we should be doing as editors. This is only the first of many. We intend with these galleries on an annual basis to keep turning it over, to keep track of what the future is like. And this is what we are doing right here today. We are not a company that sits still. We're a company out there moving forward. And I love the fact that art is such a part of it.